Hello everyone, so in this video we will learn how to mail merge using Gmail and Google Sheets in real time. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see we have a Google Sheet called as ABC Stores and we have the columns such as name of the customer, email of the customer, the product, the quantity, the amount bill and the amount to. So the idea is that I'm going to enter the details of a customer and once the details are entered the customer will be getting an email from me. So we are working on a customer called as Sne. This is the email address sne 3 party 6 at the rate gmail.com. The product she has purchased is ribbon, the quantity is 1, the amount bill is 100 and the amount due is $20. $20. Okay. So the amount due has been entered. So let's have a look that uh, sne 3 party has uh, got any kind of email from me. So I'm just going to take you to the email profile of Sneh Tripathi. So this is the email profile of Sneh Tripathi and she has got this uh, email from me. So as you can see, this is the email profile of Sneh Tripathi and she is uh, getting the email from me. Hello Sneh, thanks for purchasing ribbons from our ABC store. Please pay the due amount of $20. Thanks. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the email from Google Sheets to Gmail? So basically here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Google Sheets and Gmail. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you the steps. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pably.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pably.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pably.com, just hover on products and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. This is the landing page of Public Connect. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. So when you click on sign up for free, you can build your own account in just 2 minutes. In my case, I have already built an account, so let me just straight away click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets to Gmail. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with the trigger window as well as the action window? Well, if you're working on automation in public connect, it works on the concept of triggers and action. The trigger here is basically an if statement. It asks the question, if this happens, what should be done? For example, if a new row is entered in Google Sheet, then what action should be taken? Now the action is at this point is we are going to send an email using Gmail. So using the trigger window as well as the action window, we are going to create a workflow to integrate Google Sheets to Gmail. Now the best part here is the workflow that we have built will be added in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so we are going with the trigger and we are going to select the app as Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Now do you have an obvious question? Why the hell are we working on incognito mode? Well, the answer is very simple. If you are working with Google Sheet and have multiple Gmail accounts, it is always advisable that you work in incognito mode. Otherwise, there will be the problem of authentication. Now, in the trigger event, there is only one trigger event, new spreadsheet row. So, we have selected it. So, these are the steps that we have to follow to integrate a Google Sheet to Public Connect. Now, this is the Google Sheet that I want to integrate with. So, the name of the Google Sheet is XYZ Store. So to begin the integration process, first of all, let me just go to this part called as add-ons. Click on add-ons and here you will find Pabli Connect webhooks. Now Pabli Connect webhooks is an add-on that I have installed in my system. Since you are beginning fresh, Pabli Connect webhooks might not have been installed yet. So first of all, just go to this part, get add-ons. So when you click on get add-ons, Google Workspace Marketplace opens up in front of you. In the search, just type Pabli Connect webhooks. Pabli Connect webhooks, this one. As you can see, the button is showing Public Connect Webhook is already installed in my system. All you have to do is just click on this button and Public Connect Webhooks will be installed in your Google Sheet also. Now, uh, there is something you should know. After installing Public Connect Webhooks add-on, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. Okay, I repeat this again. After installing Public Connect Webhooks, do not forget to refresh your Google Sheet. So, I am assuming that you have installed Public Connect Webhooks at the same time you have uh, Refresh your Google Sheet, so I'm closing this. Now there's an important thing I have to show you. So as you can see, column F is our last data entry column. I repeat this again. Column F is our last data entry column. Because after column F, there is no such thing as any data. So let me just go to add-ons, Pabli Connect webhooks, just click on initial setup. 
So this is the window of initial setup. Here we have to fill two fields, the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. Now let me just show you the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. You copy this and you just paste it here. Then we have the trigger column. The trigger column is column F. Okay, so why it is column F? Always remember the trigger column is always the last data entry column. In our case, the last data entry column is column F. So we have mentioned the trigger column as column F. Okay, so we have mentioned the trigger column. We have mentioned the webhook URL. All we have to do is just click on submit. Okay, so at the same time, we have to do some more important thing. Let me just go back to add-ons, public and webhooks. Just click on send on event. So this will ensure that anytime column F is filled, doesn't matter which row it is, it will keep sending on the data to public connect. So let's have a look what public connect will do. It is already showing it is waiting for the data. Excellent. So what we're going to do here is we are going to enter some details. So we are going to work with a customer called as Deris. And uh, this is the email address of Deris. Then we have the product. The product he has purchased is some cake. Okay, butter cake. Okay, let's go with butter cake. And the quantity is one. The amount bill is $500. And the amount he has to pay still is, let's say, $200. Okay, so as you can see, the last data entry column, that is column F, has been filled. This basically means the trigger has been rigged. So let's have a look whether Public Connect has captured the data because Public Connect is integrated with this Google Sheet. So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the details of uh, the person. We have the name of the customer that is Teres. We have the email of the customer that is teresmoravik663 at the rate gmail.com. We have the product that is butter cake. We have the quantity one. We have the amount bill that is $500. And the amount due is $200. Excellent. So we have got all the details. Now the idea is that using all the details, we are going to compose an email and then send it to Darius Moravik. And this is how you do it. You introduce yourself to this uh, window, that is the action window. And here, I'm just going to add Gmail. Then in the action event, how about we make it a send an email. And let me just click on connect. We are going with a new connection, just click on connect with Gmail. Okay, so since we are working in incognito mode, there is only one account at this point. So let me just go with this account. So this is the account through which I will be sending the email. Now it is uh, asking me to confirm my choice. So before you press allow, let me just tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just press allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Excellent. So some fields has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to compose a message from the data that we have received from Google Sheets via Public Connect. So we have the recipient name. This is the first field. Now, if you may remember, the recipient was the terrace. So we are going to map this detail here. And this is how you map the detail. You click here and you click here. And here is the detail that is terrace. And you have mapped it. So easy. Then we have the recipient email address. And this is the recipient email address. We have mapped it. The sender name. The sender name is XYZ Store. So I'm just going to manually type XYZ Stores. Okay. Then we have the sender email address. So this is the email address through which I will be sending the email. Okay, at the rate gmail.com. Then we have the reply to email address, which can be ignored. Then we have the email subject. The email subject is amount due. Okay, and uh, then we have the email content. The email content, I'm preferring to keep it as very formal. Hello, and let me just add the name of the person. Darius, hello Darius, thanks for purchasing the product, purchasing, purchasing butter cake for $500, but still you owe us $200. Please pay the due amount and thanks. Okay. Hello, Darius. Thanks for purchasing butter cake for amount $500, but you, but still you owe us $200. Please pay the due amount. Thanks. So at this point, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this mail to Darius. So let me do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let me just straight away take you to Terry's email profile. 
Okay, so this is Darius' email profile. So this is the email that Darius has received. Okay, XYZ store amount due that is the subject. Hello Darius, thanks for purchasing butter cake for five hundred dollars, but you still owe us two hundred dollars. Please pay the due amount. Thanks. So the presence of this email confirms that we have a successful integration between Google Sheets and Gmail. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So basically, this is the whole process. Let me just minimize this. Okay, minimize the action window. And let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Google Sheets to Public Connect, and then you integrated Public Connect to Gmail. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Sheets and Gmail. So not just these two apps, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Public Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public dot com. If you really like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe. Furthermore, the link of Public Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching.